All right, time's now 448. Let's get over to Alexandra. Good morning, Leslie. We're starting off cold this morning. You may have felt that already. Our temperatures north of the lake in the middle 30s right now, so that's in the frost range. However, we have a little bit of wind, so even if you get into that temperature range just above the freezing mark of 32, but you have wind, sometimes it prevents the frost from forming. But the next couple of nights, we're looking kind of similar, so be prepared tonight and tomorrow night, potentially for a bit of frost north and west of the lake. South of Lake Pontchartrain if you're in the city of New Orleans, we're at 46. The lakefront is at 47. Bell Chase at 43. So we're certainly feeling a little bit warmer south of the lake as opposed to north. However, there's a little more wind south of the lake as the wind passes over the lake. There's not a lot of friction, of course, over the open water, and so it picks up. It tends to get a little breezier, as we know, south of Lake Pontchartrain in the city of New Orleans, especially out near the lakefront. So for that reason, it's feeling like about 39 or 40 on the south shore and feeling like very close to freezing. And in fact, Bogalusa has already touched freezing 32 degrees early this morning. What to expect today? Chilly with lots of sun, a gorgeous, sunny but cool afternoon like we had yesterday. North and west, again, look for some frost potentially tonight and tomorrow night. And we stay rather cool all week with our next front coming in Saturday. Nice, cold, high pressure, quiet weather expected across a lot of the southeast. But although it's really bitterly cold, the farther north you look. And one thing to keep an eye on is this little disturbance out here uh, over in the southwest. We are expecting this to cross our area tomorrow not really going to look for a lot of rain chances. In fact, if anything, there might be a stray sprinkle tomorrow, but it might bring us a few more clouds tomorrow on Wednesday as opposed to today, which will be bright and sunny. Current temperatures you can see getting very cold. Chicago at six degrees this morning. Interesting to see that across the nation, this cold snap that we've had today for us. We're looking for highs around 58 and our winds from the northeast, not as breezy as yesterday, up to about 10 or 12 miles per hour. The next few hours south of the lake take us by 1 p.m. to about 54 and then highs about 58 before we drop back again. North and west of the lake look for lows in the 30s, very close to the temperatures we're seeing right now for our lows again early tomorrow and south of the lake low temperatures will say about 44. So south of the lake that's out of the frost range, but make sure your pets and people are safe and warm on both sides of the lake the next few nights and north of the lake. As I said, you might want to protect your plants too. Looking at our precision cast, this is by noon. We'll fast forward to this afternoon, hitting our highs here in the middle and upper 50s. Now here are the clouds and you saw overnight this model wants to bring a shower or two, but not sure if we're actually going to see that. We'll keep the rain chances really slim, but this is 7 a.m. Starting with some clouds tomorrow, continued clouds during the day, thinning out by tomorrow afternoon and evening. And you know it's a quiet seven day forecast when the biggest thing we're talking about is clouds instead of huge downpours or crazy storms. This is what we have for our seven day forecast. Only a few showers expected late Friday and Saturday with our next front, which is not looking super strong. No severe weather expected at this time, and we just cool down nicely on Sunday.